Today's topic is testicular pain. Testicular pain can be painful and scary, but it's also usually not a sign of anything serious. Still, it's important to know what your options are when it comes to treatment and when you should seek medical attention for testicular pain. Trauma. It's important to understand the testicle is a sensitive structure. Testicle injuries are common in young males and can occur during sports or other physical activities. If you suffer this type of injury, your testicle may be painful, swollen, and prone to developing an infection. Testicular torsion. Testicular torsion occurs when the testicle rotates within the scrotum and becomes twisted on itself. The blood supply to that side of the testicle is cut off, and it can cause severe pain. Testicular torsion causes about half of all testicular emergencies in young men younger than 18 years old. Testicular torsion is usually diagnosed by feeling for a pulse in your injured testicle. It should feel like there's no pulse at all if there's been some damage done already. And by checking its size, usually it gets bigger than normal. But most of the times, it affects just one testicle and can be treated with surgery to restore the testicle to its correct place. Hydrocele a hydrocele is an accumulation of fluid in the scrotum. Although it's a common condition, it can be uncomfortable and sometimes painful. The exact cause of hydrocele isn't always clear, but it can be resolved with surgery to drain the fluid from your scrotum. If you have a swollen scrotum that only hurts when you touch it or move around too much, you may have hydrocele. The swelling will feel like a balloon inside your testicle, and they are usually painless unless they get infected or enlarged enough to press on nerves or blood vessels, in which case they become very painful indeed. Varicocele. A varicocele is a swelling of the veins in your scrotum, which can cause discomfort and pain in your testicles and groin. The swelling is most common on one side of each testicle, but it can happen on both sides at once, too. Sometimes people with a varicocele don't notice any symptoms, but if it hurts, then the patient should see a doctor. Epididymitis. Testicular pain can also be caused by epididymitis, an inflammation of the epididymis. This is a tube that transports sperm from the testicle to storage in the prostate gland. Symptoms include pain in your scrotum or testicle, and swelling and redness of the scrotum. It is usually caused by STIs, infections, and trauma. Infection of the prostate gland. Another cause of redness or pain in the testicle or scrotum could be infection of the prostate gland. Testicular infections are usually caused by bacteria that enter the body after sexual contact. The common cause for this are chlamydia and gonorrhea. Prostate infections can also cause pain in the lower back, groin, and testicle area. This type of infection is more common among men over 50 who are obese or have diabetes and or high blood pressure. Prostate infections can also be treated with antibiotics prescribed by your doctor if they're caught early enough before they spread to other parts of your body. Hernia. Hernia is another cause of testicular pain. A hernia is a bulge in the wall of your abdomen that occurs when an organ or tissue pushes through an opening in the muscles and skin of your body. Hernias can occur anywhere in your abdomen, but they're most common in the groin area and around your belly button. Hernias are caused by an injury or straining to some part of your abdominal muscles, like lifting something heavy or straining during exercise. Most hernias don't need to be treated right away, as they'll heal on their own over time. But if yours gets worse, it could cause complications, like pain and infection that require medical attention. Testicular cancer Testicular cancer is a type of cancer that starts in the cells of the testicles. Symptoms include swelling or a lump or heart area in one or both testicles, and other symptoms like tiredness, weight loss, pain in the abdomen, and groin. If you have any of these symptoms, it's important to see your doctor as soon as possible so they can check for testicular cancer before it becomes more serious. When to see a doctor for testicular pain If your testicular pain is severe, or if it's not getting better with home care and over-the-counter medications, you should see a doctor. You should also make an appointment if your testicle is swollen or hot to the touch. If you have other symptoms like fever, nausea, and vomiting, pain in your abdomen or back, skin lesions on the scrotum or groin area, 
you have a lump or swelling on one side of your scrotum. The good news is that most of these conditions are easily treatable with antibiotics or surgery. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.